what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we choose not to carry everything to God in prayer. Wow. Why do you have a Google map? And you still don't want to find out how to get to where you're going through the Google. What's the essence of you having a bigger phone or the latest iPhone without a charger? God is waiting for you to ask. And you want to say, if God knows that I need that thing, why is he not doing it? No. He wants you to ask. Once you ask for help, it will be given to you. When I got to Canada, I found out that a lot of things is available, but you need to ask. If you don't ask, nobody's going to force it on you. We need to start asking God for help. Remember, it's our help in time of need. But today, I want us to study Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 7. And I want to use the message Bible. It says, trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Listening to God's voice in everything you do, everywhere you go, He is the one who will keep you on track. Don't assume that you know it all. Run to God, run from evil. Wow. As simple as that. Remember, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 20 says, You will hear a voice behind you saying, This is the way, walk there in it. Your teacher will not be moved to a corner. It goes with, it's going to put you on track. And remember, Proverbs chapter 20 verse 12 says, Lovers of God have been given years to hear God for themselves. Eyes to see. This is that year you want to do a rethink of your journey with God. God should not be your last option. He says, trust him from the bottom of your heart. Have you been struggling with a task? Why don't you ask God for help? Have you been struggling in school? Why don't you ask God for help? Have you been struggling with your marriage? It's time to go to God and just say it to Him. There's no formula in prayer, remember? There's no logic to prayer. Just talking to God, just sing with God. This is the time you need to have a rethink of your relationship with God. It's a time to dialogue with God. It's a time to tell God, this is how I feel. And this is the time to ask God for help. We are not to figure it out. Why do you struggle when there's an helper by the corner? John chapter 14 verse 26 says that. But the helper, there is an helper, there's a helper that the Father will send in my name. That's the Holy Spirit. This is that year you want to ask in the Holy Spirit for help. Is ready to help. And you remember what? He's not going to tell you that, oh, so as old as you are, you don't know what to do. No, he's going to help you. He's our helper. Why do you have a helper sitting there and you're struggling when he's ready to help? This is that year you want to throw your weight on God and let him help you. It's a time to rethink your relationship with God. It is a time to rethink the way we do things. You've been struggling with things, tax to do, want to God, ask him for help. So I want to share one of my testimonies last week. I had to meet up with someone, but I overslept. <laughs> I overslept. And um, I've never seen the lady before in my life. She's never seen me. By the time I got to work, she has left. Wow. So I prayed a simple prayer in my car and I said, God, if I'm to meet this lady, if she's important for what I want to do today, can I please see her? As simple as that prayer was. And I left it. And God gave me direction. It says drive. So I drove around my office building. And I was led to go straight down. And here comes this lady. I saw her. And I stopped and I said, are you so so and so? And she said, yes, are you Bukola? I said, please come on in. I'm so sorry. Because I asked God for help. 
I could have sat there and said, well, too bad. She left. But she was so important for the journey of that day. The testimony of that day wouldn't have been completed without meeting that lady. And that was when I noticed that I've not asked. That's why I did not receive. But thank God I asked that day. And God showed me what to do. I found the lady. I found her. God is waiting for you to just just with him. We think, think about the new ways to do things, not the old ways. Just ask him for help. And he will tell you what to do. Imagine the people at the wedding. I'm sure by now you're used to it that I love that scripture. They will have just scout around the whole city looking for wine. Who is going to sell wine to them? And probably maybe they've run out of funds. Because it's a, night, it's a big wedding, I guess. But the helper was just there. And they were asked the helper. And the helper helped them. That's his work. Why do you have a waiter in the restaurant? And yet you want to go to the kitchen to get your food. It doesn't make sense, right? This year, God wants you and I to ask him for help. And to depend on the Holy Spirit. For all we want to do. You have a bigger task? Ask God for help. He will give you direction. And in all your ways, Bible says that acknowledging. And as you go in, you're just like, God, I thank you because you always help me. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Holy Spirit, I know I'm not going to lean on my own understanding. And God will help you. This is that year you want to ask God for help. This is that year. You want to do things differently because God is ever ready to help you. Let's pray. Father, I just thank you because you are our help in time of need. And we've come to you knowing that you are that help that we have. Holy Spirit, this year, help us. Help us to do the things that seems difficult. Help us to do the things that seems easy. Help us to know the way. We want to hear you in our little. Thank you because you are our helper. We will not lose it. And we will not miss the opportunity in asking you. Father, thank you because you are always with us. We will not try to figure it out this year. We are going to run to you. And we will run away from evil because you are our helper. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to use this opportunity to invite you to this month's why just we're having my friend for sure but i must see you need to come listen to her on the topic we think god bless you as we meet on sunday thank you bye for now and remain unstoppable